chain three, skip four, two double crochets into the first stitch of this leaflet and then three double crochets into the next three stitches. And two double crochets into the next uh, two stitches two double crochets into the very last stitch of this leaflet now here once we get here this is what we are going to do we are going to chain three so once we get here we are going to yarn over as you can see we have two uh, double crochets right here one on this end and one on the other end so what we do is we insert our hook into one double the, the double crochet on this end okay just like that yarn over pull through two then yarn over again cross over to the double crochet on the other end and then yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all so we have worked at uh, two double crochets together in the corner of our our work just right there okay now here we are going to continue with chain three skip three and work three double two double crochets into the very first stitch of this leaflet then three double crochets into the next three stitches lastly two double crochets into the very last stitch of this leaflet and here we chain three skip four work one double crochet into the next stitch chain three skip four two double crochets into the next stitch and three double crochets into the next three stitches lastly two double crochets into the very last stitch of this leaflet okay chain three skip four work one double crochet into the next stitch now remember here is where we actually had our end so we chain three just to make it look exactly just like we did on this side we chain three skip four stitches and now get into this uh, stitch right there and work three double crochets together just like that okay see what we have that's our first row towards getting our strap made so here we are going to chain three and turn our work because we are making a decrease we want to eliminate these three chains here so we work three chains this is going to more like act as a stitch to start our row now once we get into this stitch this is where we have to be working three double crochets so we work the three double crochets to start our next leaflet right so that means I have eliminated the three chains here but instead more like skipped them but instead worked our three double crochets that have to go into this stitch to start our next leaflet and now chain three skip four stitches into the next stitch into the next five stitches you work five double crochets just like that see what we have and now chain three into the next uh, skip four and into the next stitch you work uh, three double crochets chain three skip four work five double crochets into the next five stitches chain three skip four now we have gotten to this corner so into this stitch right here that that was the two double crochets together we work three double crochets this is acting like our one double crochet right here that we have been working our three double crochets onto all right now we chain three and skip four work five double crochets into the next five stitches okay chain three work three double crochets into this uh, stitch just like that chain three skip four work five double crochets into the next five stitches just like that and lastly 
see we are getting to the end of our work so we chain three skip four work three double crochets into this uh, stitch now here we just yeah actually uh, when we are working the very last stitch or the third double crochet is once we have two left on the hook we yarn over insert our hook into the last stitch or the first stitch of the previous row which was the three double crochet together you insert your hook in there yarn over pull through two and then yarn over pull through all see that so we chain uh, two and turn our work we are going to skip this first stitch and work two double crochets together into the next two stitches see what we have now chain three one two three skip four work three double crochets into the next three stitches I hope you guys can see that our work is starting to have a decrease from where we were here and now we are getting to more like get that decrease we are looking for so chain three and work two double crochets into the whole thing is start with three double crochets together like just make a decrease when starting the row and ending the row you work three double crochets together when starting it and ending the row so chain three skip four stitches and work two double three double crochets into the next three stitches chain three skip four and work two double crochets into the first stitch of this leaflet one double crochet in the next and lastly two double crochets into the next two stitches chain three skip four work three double crochets into the next three stitches chain three skip four two double crochets into the very first stitch of this leaflet one double crochet in the next and then two double crochets into the last stitch of this leaflet see this is our corner this was more like our corner and now here we chain three skip four chain three skip four like chain three work skip four and work three double crochets in the next three stitches chain three skip four two double crochets into the first stitch of this leaflet oh this is our very last one so once here we yarn over work three double crochets together just like that so we chain three and turn our work remember i want to eliminate these three stitches so once i've chained three i'm just going to skip four and just go into the one double crochet i have to work right there one two three chain three skip four um work two double crochets into the very first stitch of this leaflet and then work three double crochets in the next three stitches lastly you work two double crochets into the very last stitch of this leaflet chain three skip four one double crochet into the next stitch chain three skip four two double crochets into the first stitch three double crochets into the next three stitches and lastly two double crochets into the very last stitch of this leaflet So chain three skip four and work one double crochet in the next stitch chain three skip four and work two double crochets into the first stitch three double crochets into the next three stitches and lastly two double crochets into the last stitch so chain three one double crochet into the next stitch once here once we are working this uh, double crochet right here we shall just have two two stitches onto our hook then we can insert our hook into the very last stitch and work two double crochets together so here we chain three and turn our work 
literally the decrease is starting to get visible as you can see and it flows with our design that's the good thing so yes still i am going to have to eliminate these three chains so i'll just get over to this remember here i have to be skipping the first stitch and working into the next so that i have five stitches so that's what i'll do exactly i'll work into the next stitch and have five stitches worked five double crochets worked into the next five stitches just like that so here you chain three insert your hook into the double crochet right there and work three double crochets into that stitch chain three skip one uh, skip four sorry and then work uh five double crochets into the five the next five stitches just like that chain three skip four work three double crochets into the next stitch chain three skip four work five double crochets into the next five stitches so once we are working the fifth stitch this is what we are going to do we are going to insert our hook yarn over pull through two and then yarn over remember we want to eliminate these three chain gaps because this is where our decrease is our last stitch of the row of the previous row so we yarn over insert our hook into this into that stitch and then yarn over pull through yarn yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all just like that okay so we have eliminated these three chain gaps now here we chain uh three and turn our work remember these are five and we have to be having three stitches here because if you remember the decrease right here once we have five on this row we have three on the next so remember we have to have three stitches but also we want to eliminate the first three all right so this is what we do we yarn over skip this and work into this just like that yarn over into the next just like that and now into the third as well just like that we yarn over pull through all so we have made a decrease mm? i hope you guys have understood it's more like we have worked four double crochets together now here you chain three so you work uh two double crochets into this one double crochet in the next and lastly two double crochets into the last stitch chain three skip four work three double crochets into the next three stitches chain three skip four two double crochets into the next stitch just like that one double crochet in the next and lastly two double crochets into the next two stitches now remember we are getting to the end of our row so here we chain three we skip four and into this uh, stitch we work three double crochets together do we like work four double crochets together okay chain three turn our work now you see what we have we have remaining this is it and now we want to eliminate this first three chain gaps so this first three chains so we just work into the next stitch just like that so we skip the three and just work two double crochets into the next uh, stitch then three double crochets in the next three stitches of this leaflet and lastly uh, two double crochets into the very last stitch of this leaflet chain three work skip four and work one double crochet in the next uh, stitch chain three skip four and work two double crochets into this next uh, stitch three double crochets in the next three stitches and lastly you work two double crochets in the very last uh, stitch 
just like that but remember when we are working the very last stitch we 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 not we don't like work it completely instead we just have two uh stitches onto our hook and then insert our hook into into this uh stitch right here because remember i want to eliminate these three chain these three chains so i insert my hook in there and just work two double crochets together just like that so we chain three and turn our work now remember here I have to be having five stitches because now here we start the decrease of our piece. I'm going to skip the very first stitch right here and work into the next just like that. So we work two double crochets because this uh, chain three is acting as a stitch so this will be like a three double crochet together just like that and now sorry once we have that remember I have to have five stitches on here so that means one two three we are left with three so we work the three we work three uh double crochets into the next three stitches just like that chain three into this uh, stitch right here we work three double crochets so we are skipping four and working three double crochets in the next uh stitch chain three skip four work two double cr sorry 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 skip four from here so that means we are working into this so we work three double crochets into the next three stitches and now we are going to work three double crochets together into the last three stitches just like that okay so we chain three and turn our work. See, we are already starting to get a decrease. So here we have chained three and we are skipping this first stitch and working two double crochets together into the next two stitches. So we chain three and work two double crochets into the very first uh, stitch of this clipset. And then one double crochet in the next lastly two double crochets into the last stitch of this leaflet chain three skip four work three double crochets together into the last three stitches just like that okay so here we chain three and turn our work We are going to elim eliminate this uh, three chains so we skip and just work into the first stitch of the next slip that work two double crochets then three double crochets into the next three stitches and now into the very last stitch of this leaflet we work two double crochets but when working the second double crochet we make sure it is incomplete so we just yarn over cross over into the last stitch just like that and work two double crochets together okay chain three turn your work so you can see we only have these stitches left and here I'm going to say we should not decrease anymore because now I think this is the width I want for my strap but just to show you how it looks like from here this is how okay see how it looks work two chains work into the very first stitch and work a double crochet continue working one double crochet into every stitch until you get to the end once you have that you will chain Two and turn your work work one double crochet into the very first stitch and then continue working one double crochet into every stitch until you get to the end of your row so this you are going to just repeat until you have the length of the strap that you want you can work a few more rows maybe make it like a total of um, 10 rows for your strap okay but then you are just going to get back and see where we started from and do the same for this side of your strap okay 
once you have your strap complete then i'll get back and show you how to so um this is how my work looks like okay i finished to work both sides so once you have finished to work your strap you are going to hold this and make sure you are you are working this seam on the inside okay you'll get into the very first stitch right there <clears throat> And pull through your yarn now here we start working one single crochet into every stitch just like that and making sure we have inserted into both uh, stitches on both pieces okay so you do this until you come right here at the end of your row And once you are done, you will just secure your, your end like that and get a darning needle to weave that in. So turn this in out, see what we have. So from here, it's up to you to avoid so much slugginess. Uh, you can just work a row of double crochet of, of uh, single crochets onto the edges. Okay, from here, making sure that every double crochet post you work two single crochets into it all the way around, also this side on the edge. And if you're just fine with this, you can just see that we have completed our pick a leaf slouchy market bag. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Goodbye.